I believe we are safe now. Shall we adjourn here until the morrow? What makes you think we're safe? I cast a force field around the forest. Even were Walther to follow us by teleportation, he would be unable to reach us here. In that case, we should rest. I wouldn't mind resting. You surprised me. I thought Silmeria was still with us. She only comes out when we need her for object reading. Usually it's just me. I'm sorry. I wish I could be of more help. I beg your forgiveness. I never intended to insinuate such a thing. As one versed in the arcane, I am merely intrigued by two spirits sharing one body. Sweet talk all you want. Silmeria can see right through it. So can object reading be used to read another's mind? Well, seems like it should be possible. Interesting. Shall we give it a try? It would be an honor, Lady Silmeria. If you have thoughts or feelings that are inseparably bound to another life, or memories of someone who affected you deeply, then I can read those thoughts. Is that so? Allow me to abstain. I would rather not know about my other lives. Perhaps the gentleman would oblige. I'd like to believe that in all my other lives, I have been a defender of Dupan. If you mess around with your powers, won't that other Valkyrie detect us? You've got a point. You two must also be fatigued from your journey. A brief respite is in order. I shall wake you before the sun is high. Naturally, I shall keep watch as you rest. The orb was taken to a place just outside Coriander for protection. At least, according to the last remaining records of Japan. So, why this little backwater town? I imagine it was somewhat more prosperous back then. When would that be? The chronicles date back over 500 years. Someone must have taken good care of them. Japan was founded by a sect that broke away from the tribe of Orb Guardians. You know your lore. <sighs> Common knowledge for a loyal subject. I didn't know that. Some princess I am. History fades over time. Well, shall we go?